Hey guys, it's Bryce Nickerson here coming at you guys with a brand new video. It's been a while and I've got something to talk about. <laughs> so does the rest of the baseball world and the sports world for that matter. And you guys read the title, you obviously know what I'm about to talk about. It's the Astros scandal. The uh, huge sign-stealing, trash-banging Astros scandal that's rocking the baseball world right now. And um, I'm going to give my opinion on it. I'm going to give my take on it. I'm going to talk about it. I don't know how long this video is going to be. So um, this is going to be my uncut, unedited uh, me rambling on about the Astro scandal. Because it's something that I kind of want to talk about. Something that I kind of want to give my opinion about. Um, I'm a little sick right now. So sorry if I have to like take breaths so I can, you know, breathe and... <laughs> It's important to breathe. Um, so I'm going to give my opinion on it. Uh, I don't know where to start. This whole thing blew up. There is so much involved to it, and it's just getting crazier and crazier every day. So I literally don't know where to start. But let's just start by saying Mike Fires really started a huge baseball fire with all this. Mike Fires was the... Uh, the former Astros player who opened this can of worms up. He was the whistleblower. He uh, revealed that the Astros were cheating and really blew this up, started the investigation, and really changed baseball forever. Really changed the Astros forever. Um, tarnished a lot of players' careers. Tarnished the Houston Astros. Um, tarnished his own career, which he had a lot of, my opinion is, he had a lot of guts to come out and, you know, put the Astros underneath the bus. And I respect him for it. I think he made the right decision. My opinion is he made the right decision. He didn't do anything wrong. He, he really made the right decision by going out of his way and putting himself out there and revealing what the Astros did. He may have made a shit ton of enemies, but he made the right decision. Um... I guess my general opinion about the situation is it's very bad for baseball. Um, obviously, what a dumb statement that is. But here's what I mean by that. It's, it's just going to lead to so many different problems because something that wasn't probably known too much before, but it is now, is that sign stealing in baseball happens all the time from all the teams. And the Houston Astros just took it a step too far. The Houston Astros went way too far with the sign stealing, and they made it way too big of an advantage with technology. Um, players sign steal in baseball without technology, and you know pitch pitchers and catchers just have to like change up their signs a little bit when their signs are being picked up by the other team. But the Astros went too far and actually started using cameras and trash bins to indicate which were off-speed and which were fastballs so the players knew what were coming. And they just took it a step too far and they're going to pay for it as you know they already are right now. Um, and that's when they were doing this. I feel like when the Houston Astros were cheating, I feel like they didn't think they were doing anything wrong. I genuinely feel like the Houston Astros didn't think that they were doing something this extreme or something very wrong. I feel that because, like I said, everybody was sign-stealing, and I feel like, you know, they're like, oh, we're just doing what everybody else is doing. And, you know, that may be the case, but they, they took it too far, and they're going to pay for it. Um... I don't know if they were using buzzers or, you know, like Jose Altuve, that whole thing with like the tattoos and the, his, uh, you know, his body shaming image or I don't know. The whole thing is just an absolute mess right now. Robert Manfred, oh man, Robert Manfred has dug himself into a R Roger Goddell hole and it's, it's crazy, man. I feel like he's not a good commissioner at all. Um, I don't think he's passionate enough about doing the right thing for baseball. You gotta lay down a stricter punishment um, 
you know, than he has. Because who's going to care if you fine the team, like, a couple million dollars, you know? Like, do baseball players or baseball fans care if the Houston Astros are, like, fined, like, five million dollars or however much they were fined? No, they don't care. The players have got to be punished. All right? Players and fans aren't going to be cared if they're fined money or they're fined draft picks or all this or the freaking manager and GM are canned. No, they're not going to care. The players need to be punished and something extreme needs to be done. All right? And I think that's where Robert Manfred went wrong. There needed to be more extreme punishment to show that this can absolutely never happen again. And I don't think it will happen again now that they're paying closer to attention to it. Um, but there needed to be more of an extreme punishment because now the extreme punishment is Astros players getting beaned. And it's going to be very brutal next year. It's going to be very bad. There's going to be... I mean, it's it's kind of shitty of me to say that I'm looking forward to seeing what happens because I don't want to see Astros players get hurt but I mean in a sick way it's gonna be entertaining I guess to see like how this is gonna unfold into the season um you know when the Astros go to Yankee Stadium or I don't know if they play at Yankee Stadium this year but you know when the Yankees play the Astros or you know, whatever, like, when the players go against the Astros that may have had some bad blood because of the Astros impacting their careers and their postseason chances and, you know, their MVP chances, and it's going to be crazy. Like, this upcoming year for the Astros are going to be an absolute hell ride. And they did it to themselves, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens this year with the Astros. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs again. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. It's just like the, the, the mental warfare that's going to happen might kick him out of the playoffs because of how much they're going to have to go through. Um, but they're a good team. They didn't need to cheat this much. They didn't need to take this to the extreme. Um, it, it's it's crazy. This whole Astros thing is just crazy. There's literally nothing any Astro can say that will make this better. Um, they didn't really show genuine remorse or sorriness. Sorriness, if that's even a word. Um, when they apologize. Um... Freaking Justin Verlander was joking about it even, and he's one who's gone really hard on people who have cheated before about the, you know, steroid scandal. Um, and it's like a he said, she said sort of thing right now, and it's, it's just a crazy situation. I mean, there's so many players commenting on it, Mike Trout, Cody Bellinger, and Carl's career on a huge fight right now. It's just it's just crazy and um yeah, it's going to be it's going to be very interesting to see what happens next season for the Astros. There's going to be a lot of highlights of Astros players getting hit. There's probably going to be a lot of brawls. It's it's going to be very interesting to watch and yeah, the Astros took it too far with their camera cheating and I feel like they should deserve a stricter punishment for the players. I feel like the investigation should have included the players that have used the cheating uh, mechanism so that those specific players can be punished. But, you know, it's a team sport, and the whole team players maybe should have been punished um, because they knew what was going on, and they didn't speak up, and when they took their cheating too far. And, yeah, I don't know. I feel like they really should have been punished more. And I guess that's... I mean, I could say a lot more, but I don't want to make too long of a video. I don't know how long this video has been even going on for, but I guess that's just like my little take on the Astro scandal right now. Uh, I want to know what you guys think uh, down below in the comments, so let's have a discussion. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. MLB The Show 20 comes out soon, next month. I'll be making a lot of videos on MLB The Show. Um, I'm super excited for baseball to come back. Uh, and yeah, go Brewers, and see you guys next time.